Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will probably never return to the royal family after making these comments. When Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, decided to step back as senior royals, they didn't slam the door behind them. <laughs> Somebody left an ape out on the doorstep. This progressive thinking couple knew that they couldn't remain silent members of the royal family any longer. However, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex weren't willing to cut ties with Queen Elizabeth outright. They chose to broker a trial separation that would include revisiting their choice in one year. At that time, the couple could choose to return to their previous working royal jobs. But as more time passes with Harry and Meghan still making headlines, it's becoming apparent that nothing will ever go back to the way it was. Especially now that the couple is getting political. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex used to subtler about their beliefs. Most fans knew where Harry and Meghan stood on the political spectrum even before they quit the royal family. Though royals are forbidden from voting in elections or publicly endorsing political candidates, some offhand comments plus the charities the couple associated with made it clear that both aligned with more a more liberal outlook. Now that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have made a formal split, they're no longer forced to abide by the royal custom of remaining politically neutral. Ever since moving to Los Angeles, Harry and Meghan have been getting more and more involved in causes that showcase these beliefs. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have become outspoken political activists. After Megxit, Harry and Meghan spent time on Vancouver Island, Canada, before moving to Los Angeles on a more permanent basis. They haven't been working in any formal capacity, but they did make a huge amount from a speaking engagement early in the year. The couple is gearing up to launch their new foundation, Arcawell. All along, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had been speaking out against racial injustice, especially after the death of George Floyd. Prince Harry and Meghan are fervent supporters of the Black Lives Matter organization. Also, they are intent on having uncomfortable conversations about history, race, and injustice. The public statements they may have made it very clear how the couple feels about these current issues. Queen Elizabeth may not agree with Harry and Meghan making statements. Her Majesty would never openly reveal her feelings about Harry and Meghan's public comments, however. Some royal followers assume she's not happy that they've become so politically motivated in recent months. While speaking at the 2020 Diana Awards ceremony, the prince said he and Meghan agreed that their generation and previous generations had not done enough to right the wrongs of the past. He said, Institutional racism has no place in our societies, yet it is still endemic. Unconscious bias must be acknowledged without blame to create a better world for all of you. Harry and Meghan aren't holding back anymore. Besides racial equality, Harry and Meghan are openly committed to combating climate change and promoting mental health awareness. While some of these issues are seen as universal, in this tense political climate, they can also be quite polarizing. Without the Queen dictating where to draw the line, Harry and Meghan are free to say whatever they want about the issues they care about. Making declarations for political causes will make it difficult, if not impossible for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to return to the royal family, if they even want to. Another analysis. The reason Prince Harry was warned about Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle caused quite a stir within the ranks of the British royal family the moment she started dating Prince Harry. From being a biracial, divorced American actress to not wearing the right clothes or behaving in the correct manner, no matter what she did, Meghan just seemed to rub the royals the wrong way. The couple's decision to step down from their official duties rocked the family, as well as the press on both sides of the Atlantic, 
to its very core. Rumors continued to circulate about what transpired to make it happen and why. However, it now seems that if certain people had had their way, the entire ordeal could have been avoided because Prince Harry wouldn't have married Meghan in the first place. Prince William worried Harry was moving too fast. According to Express, the tell-all book royals at war claims Prince William asked his brother, is she the right one? Almost immediately after he started dating the Suits alum in 2016, Prince Harry didn't take kindly to his brother questioning his budding romance and, per sources close to the family, it was the beginning of the end for their close relationship. As royal expert Sammy Wonder explained in the documentary Princesses at War, William was quite concerned that the relationship had moved so quickly. His wife, Kate Middleton, also allegedly warned Harry to take things slowly, reminding him he was dating someone with a completely different life, past and career, and it would take time, care, and attention for them to integrate. But the happy couple got engaged the very next year with both Middleton and Prince William, wishing them well in the press and expressing a desire to get to know Meghan. For his part, Prince Harry told the BBC that he knew the very first time he met Meghan that she was the one for him, with insiders sharing in royals at war, that he was drawn to her, confidence, commitment, drive, and ambition. Prince Philip questioned Meghan's vocation. Prince Harry may have been sure about Meghan from the beginning, but Prince Philip warned him that marrying her would be a mistake for a shockingly snobby reason, allegedly telling him, One steps out with actresses, one doesn't marry them, according to a report in the Sunday Times. Meghan was a well-regarded actress in her previous life. She appeared in Suits for seven seasons, while also featuring in small roles in the likes of blockbuster movies, including Horrible Bosses, opposite Jennifer Aniston, and Remember Me, opposite Robert Pattinson, prior to marrying Prince Harry. Prince Philip is widely known to have a very close relationship with his grandson, so the comment no doubt wounded Prince Harry, though sources suggest he stood up for Meghan very forcibly whenever anyone questioned their relationship. The Times report also alleged that an unnamed senior member of the royal family dubbed Meghan the degree wife, suggesting she would only last for three years with her husband. According to Insider, it seems that whatever rift existed between them has since been healed, however, as Prince Philip was actually the first royal to meet Baby Archie, Prince Charles was troubled by Meghan's strong personality. Nigel Cawthorn, author of Prince Andrew, Epstein and the Palace revealed that, in his view, Prince Charles wasn't Meghan's biggest fan either, precisely because of that same strong, no, nonsense personality that allegedly rankled other family members. He feared there was, only room for one strong woman in the royal family, as Cawthorn explained to the son. As he explained, I think Prince Charles likes strong women, but in the firm there is only room for one queen. Prince Charles envisioned problems down the line with the amount of press attention being drawn by Prince Harry and Meghan too. Harry and Meghan amplified the popularity of the royal family in the way that Prince Andrew and Fergie did at the time, noted Cawthor. In reality, though, he had to offer his support to the new couple just like everyone else, as there wasn't much he could do to stop them. Still, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex left the family less than two years after marrying, officially ending royal duties on March 31, 2020, and sending shock waves through the monarchy. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Don't stop.